Hey guys, on today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to import pictures or videos to your Photos app. So, as you know, Photos app replaces your iPhoto. And uh, it might be difficult for some of you to get used to it, which makes a lot of sense. There's a lot of glitches with this app, and hopefully they'll get fixed. Anyways, once you open up the app, um, you do have this option up here. Now go to Import now. First of all, turn on your camera, plug it into your computer and uh, just make sure your USB is plugged in. Go to import. Now if you don't have just your camera plugged in, you have your iPhone, you can switch them up from here, from iPhone to your camera. So it can be whatever camera your name is, it's for Fuji or it's a Canon, it could be a Sony, whichever it is. You can just go here and pick the correct one. So just pick the correct one. Um, after that, just highlight the ones that you want to import or just press Command A, for example, to choose them all. Um, you can also drag your mouse and just choose the ones or just click on one and choose the one that you want. After you do that, you can just uh, click on import all new items and you can also check mark this part if you want them to be deleted after you import them. I usually do that for videos, especially on my iPhone because I don't want to take that much space. Um, in this case, we're gonna do that anyways. So it's from my camera, I just want them deleted. So we're just gonna do that. Um, so this is the same process if you have videos or pictures, whatever you have. Uh, at this moment, I have my Wi-Fi off. The reason why I do that, just in case, I don't want these to be synced with my photo stream or my iCloud. So that's why I turn off my Wi-Fi, my Wi-Fi, and then I just transfer these from my photos library into a separate folder outside of it, so they don't get synced up. Now, if you want them to be synced up, just leave them there. This is something that I do because I don't want that to happen. Anyways, I'm just gonna click on import all and they're gonna import. If they're videos such as the ones that I'm importing, which are basically all of them, it's gonna take a little bit of time. If they're just pictures, they won't take that much time. Once you want to export them, you can do the same thing. You can highlight your pictures and then just drag them out. Just be aware that this um, new app has glitches. So it will take long. It won't give you that little bar that said how long it's gonna take. Okay, you usually get that message when you're copying files. Um, in this case, it doesn't give you that. However, you can see the process. To see the process, you can just go up here and you're gonna see this little thing up here. So let me just zoom in so you guys can take a little better look so this thing right here just click on it you're gonna get the process okay so you can see how long it's taking to import all your videos so it's a good thing to have that there it's pretty nice um, apart from that that's how you do it guys if you guys have any questions problems um, you can write them here below in my co in the comments area and don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you